the word that keeps coming to mind is surreal. I mean, after not just the last couple of months, but the last quad and even more so the last five or six years after coming so close in, in 2008 and then, you know, not really having the meet that I had wanted to at Olympic trials. It's just amazing to me that, you know, through all that adversity, I was, I was still able to come out and be successful. And I'm so proud of not only, you know, myself with how I've, how I've handled everything, but I'm proud of how, you know, Team USA has really performed not only over the last couple of days, but especially today. I mean, we killed it tonight. The, the way the race went, I had planned it in my head a couple of different ways. I had planned myself being even or ahead or behind at the hundred. So I was prepared for anything and it really didn't change my race strategy a whole lot. I mean, I wanted to build into the very last wall, have a good set of underwaters and then just keep my stroke together and get my hand on the wall as quickly as I could. It's, it's as simple as that. You know, even before tonight, before I made myself an Olympic medalist, there were people sending me messages like, you know, you're an ins inspiration to me and or things like that. I mean, it's, it blows my mind that just by doing, you know, what I've been doing for so long that people are taking something away from that is, is very humbling and it's very rewarding. And I mean, I want to, I want to do better in Rio and, and, and keep giving back to the community in that way. I'm actually DJing here in London on Sunday night at a, at a club called China White, just up the street. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. That that's going to be part of the celebration, and I'm going to I'm planning a, a trip to Paris in, in, in the next week for a couple of days just to relax and enjoy more of Europe. And then uh, once I go home, it'll be nice to see all my friends and continue the celebration.